two, three, four. What is up Guitar Legends, Sam Wild here. We're looking at Can't Help Falling In Love by Elvis Presley today. Now, if you guys wanna learn the finger style version uh, without a capo, uh, I've done a separate video lesson for that and a performance video also. Okay, today we're just gonna be looking at the basic chords, basic rhythm for those of you that wanna play along to the song or potentially sing as well, okay? Now, you can take the capo off. You can Everything I show you today, you can play without a capo. It would just take it down two keys. All right, but for the sake of playing along to the song, I've put the capo on. Now, the first thing you wanna do is just get used to the rhythm, okay? There's a couple of different things you can do for the rhythm. Um, we're just gonna keep it simple today. So have a look at the C major chord diagram. Okay, make sure you can play this chord first. Now, the rhythm is really simple. We're just gonna play down, 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 down. Down, 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 for the whole song, all right? If you wanna get more intricate, you can do, you can do some uh, arpeggio style. You could do this for the whole song if you wanted to. Doesn't matter what chord you're on. You can just go, do, 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 do. three down, three up. That's another option. Uh, you can also add to the rhythm I've shown you, so you can play. So as soon as you do down, 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 bar up, you can pick up at the end. Just add in little picks here and there if you want to, okay? But again, basic rhythm is just down, 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 down. So let's start with the intro. The intro is just uh, kind of like the turnaround part at the end of the verse. Uh, so we just have C, G, C, C again. Okay, so it's kind of the end of the verse there. That is actually the intro part. So just practice changing from C to your G chord there if you need to. Then we get to the verse. So this verse part actually happens four times in the whole song. Okay, so this is the main part we need to learn. We're gonna have the C chord. Now when you change here, keep the middle finger down, we can go to this E minor shape. All right, if you want to, you can add the pinky here, because then you kind of get the melody. And then we have A minor. Okay, very similar to C, but third finger comes down. So for the first three chords, your middle finger can stay where it is, watch. All right, now an optional thing to do, is add the G in the bass, so we go from A minor to A minor seven with G in the bass. Okay, that sounds quite nice. You don't have to do that, you can stay on A minor if you want to, but it gives some movement to get from here to here to here. It takes us into our F chord, right, on the second line. Second line we have F. Uh, if I were you, I would play like this. Probably the easiest way to play F. You can do a bar chord. You can do a sort of thumb over bar chord. But if you bring it down, get the open A, probably the easiest way to play it, okay? And then you're in a nice place to go into the next chord, which is C, with E in the bass. Usually I would say block off the E string with the thumb, but the E is actually being played by the bass player, so you can leave that in there. All right, and then we go to G, same as before. Okay, so second line, F, C with E in the bass, G, G again. But I, then we have F. Now, if you wanna get that, the melody note within this second G chord here on the third line, um, just take the third finger off. I do that sometimes, just so you get the melody note in there. Sounds quite nice. 
see it's the same shape, but the third finger just comes off to allow for that B string, which is what he's singing to come out, right? Then A minor. Now, this is the part that some of you might find tricky. We're doing this sort of F major 6, major 7, then F. Then we have C with G in the bass, okay? Now, a little tip here, you don't have to put the G in the bass, you can just play C major if you want to. Okay, but it does sound cool to have G in the bass, that's what happens in the song. The bass player is staying on the G there, okay? Um, but let's work on this F pattern here. We're gonna strum through to the B string only. Don't play the E string on that first strum. So we do that afterwards. You can even put your finger on the E string just in case, just to stop yourself from hitting it. Because if you do, it's not going to make any sound because your finger's on it. And then obviously take it off to pick up on it. Then we add the first finger. Falling in, falling in. Pretty cool, huh? Now the last thing you can do to really make this flow you add another bass note just after the E string. So it's in between the E string and the F note there. It just gives it more flow. Because you're getting that dom, 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 dom. You're keeping that pulse in there if you do it this way. All right? And then we go to our normal G chord. Back to C and then C again. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. So this whole verse, let's try and do it together slowly. Ready, one, two, three, four. We have C, E minor with the top note, A minor, G in the bass, to F, then C with E in the bass, full G chord, then F, third finger off for this one, A minor, then we have the, G in the bass, G, C twice. All right, and there you go. That's the main part to this whole song. We do this again, the whole thing exactly the same. Then we get to the bridge. So here we have E minor. I would use finger two and three if I were you because then changing to the B7 chord, much easier, the middle finger can stay where it is. So we do E minor for two beats, B7 for two beats, E minor again, B7 again, so it's three times for this little bit. Then we have a turnaround, E minor, A7, D7, then I like to play this really nice G13 chord here. You can just play G, you can play G7, but I love this particular shape, G13, it sounds really nice. Leads into the C chord well. So for the turnaround, E minors as normal, then A7, you want finger two and three to play that, I would say. Then we go to D minor seven. Okay, pause the video, work on these chords if you need to, by the way. Then we have G13, looks like this. Third finger's on the bass, then second. And then the fourth finger is playing the seventh note here. Okay, then that E note is what is giving you that sixth, that thirteenth stacked on top there. It's kind of like this chord, right? But it's just a little easier to play it this way. All right, that's everything, guys. So we've done the bridge. Now we go into verse three. Then we have a second bridge, and then finally a fourth and final verse. All right, now careful. Once you finish that final verse, we don't end the song there. We do another half verse. Okay, so we basically do the second half again. We do the I can play this bit again. Falling in love. 
And it slows down. Okay, so just that kind of second half of the verse we add on to verse four. All right, there we have it. It's time for you to try and play along to the whole song with me. The play along is coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell icon too. All right, uh, just take your time with that play along. All right, just play each chord with one strum to begin with. If you need to, don't worry about the rhythm too much. Okay, you just have to get used to the chords first. All right, thanks so much for watching guys. Good luck with the play along. I'll see you in the next lesson. One, two, three, four.